In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to solve um, a word problem with variables in both sides of the equation. Let's go ahead and begin. Here's our problem. Okay? And I'd like to start off by reading the question first. So I find my question mark um, down here um, at the bottom of the problem. Right here's my question. I'm going to highlight it. Okay. For what number of minutes of the local falls are the costs of the plans the same? So what we're doing is we're comparing two plans. And the key here is that it says the same. The same means that they're, when are they equal? Okay, so that's what, how we know it's going to be a variable on both sides type problem. Because we're looking to see when they're, they are both equal. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, we're going to do a variable assignment. And after reading that question, we, we know we don't know the number of minutes. So that's what we're going to find. It says for what number of minutes. So we're going to use M. Um, let me erase that. We're going to do M for number of minutes. If you want to be specific, um, you can say of local calls. So M is for number of minutes here. Okay. And now we're going to start building our equation. So we go ahead and do our equal sign. And then let's go ahead now and read through our problem. The cellular phone company charges $27.95 a month fee and 12 cents per minute for local calls. Another company charges $12.95 a month and 32 cents per minute for local calls. Okay, so we're going to um, do, go ahead and do the first cellular phone company. We'll put that over here on the left side of the equation. And then we'll build the, um, the right side of the equation with the other company over here. Okay. So what we have to do is change this here, $27.95 a month fee and $0.12 cents per minute for local calls. We need to change that into an algebraic expression. Okay. It's, it's $27.95 is kind of a flat fee. So we're going to put that in as $27.95. And in addition to that, we have to add um, $0.12 cents per minute. Okay, well, our, our minutes here is our variable m. So we're going to put 0.12m. Okay, and the second, the right-hand side of the equation is built very similar to the, the left side. Okay, it's 12.95 a minute for 32 cents, or 12.95 a month for 32 cents a minute. So our flat rate is 12.95, and it's going to be plus... 32.32 m. Okay. Now we've got to go ahead and solve with our variables. We have a variable on the right and the left. Okay. I like to get um, my variables to the left side of the um, equation. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. But I got to use algebra. Okay. It's plus um, 0.32 m. So to undo that, I got to do plus negative 0.32 m to both sides. So over here, it's going to be plus negative 0.32 m. Okay, and I'm going to type that into my calculator. So 0.12 plus negative 0.32, and I get negative 0.20 m is equal to, and then these are cancel, cancel each other's out, and I get 12.95. I also got to bring down my flat rate, so 27.95 plus negative 0.2m. Let me go ahead and move down here okay, and create a little bit more room so we can continue to solve. Now that we have a little bit more room, let's go ahead and work through it. Okay. Now, I'm, I have my variable on the left-hand side. I want to move my, this number here, 2795, to the right side of the equation. So I do the same thing. I'm going to add negative 2795. Very similar to how I move this over to the, um, to the left side of the equation. So I go ahead and add negative 2795 to both sides. Okay, 
this is going to cancel out, so it's going to be negative 0.20m is equal to, and let me do the calculation here, 1295 plus negative 2795. And I get 50, negative 15. I did that correctly. Now, the next thing I have to do is get, I just want m by itself. Yes, that is an m. Okay, and I'm going to divide it by negative 0 0.20, or just negative 0 0.2 would be enough, and negative 0.20. Okay, bring down my m, because these cancel each other out. It's equal to, and then we have negative 15 divided by negative 0 0.20, and that equals 75. And then all good math students put a label on it. So it's 75 um, minutes and the plans will be equal, right? So after 75 minutes, those plans will be the same. Okay? And I'm going to just go back up here and give you a chance to see the problem one last time here without any of the annotations. Okay? So again, a little quick recap. Um, do your variable assignment. Okay? Build your equation. Um, and then once you have your equation built, and go ahead and work through your solution. In this one, it was 75 minutes um, that the plans were both the same or equal there. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.